Welcome back, ancient fans. It is a town update. If you're new here, um, cool. This is your first time seeing it. If not, if you're a returning uh, ancient fan, a, a real, a real one, um, you know, leave a like and a comment and all that stuff. But uh... all right, guys. So welcome to Margaritaville. The lighting is hecka mediocre, and the space is at a premium. But this is what I have so far. And actually, um, this is all the modules. So first of all, we have the graveyard way over here. We have the inn and tavern, followed by the, um, oh, what, would I, what was I calling this? The sheriff's house slash office. And then we have a farmhouse over there. And then this is a half of a base. It's um, eight instead of 16. Um, and it just... It fills out from corner to corner of the shelf. Um, so maybe that's what I limit myself space-wise to. Unfortunately, that's really not a lot more that I can add to this town. But speaking of things I've added to the town, um, well, let's talk about remove first. So around here was a farmyard, and that is completely gone. And the farmhouse is still here, but unfortunately the farmyard just took up too much space. It took up most of a... Um, of a 16 by 16 plate, an entire plot in the town, and I wanted to do something else with that. So the other big thing is that the barracks for the um, the, the guards have been removed, and there's this um, this watchtower here now. So oh, look at that good shadows! Wow, uh, that's the tripod and the building itself. But uh, now we have this three story tower, and it's pretty impressive, nice and tall. We got a little bit of greenage up there. We'll do a fuller tour of the buildings individually, but basically, I thought here's here's what that here's what the head cannon is. Here's the here's that good deep lore that you guys like a lot. So basically, I figured that the guard tower would be the oldest structure in town. It is. Um, it's hard to see on this, but can you see the color variation in the gray pieces? First of all, they're old um, light gray instead of the uh, newer stone gray. Um, so this one here would be the new ones, and then this is old ones, and they're different levels of faded, um, which is inconvenient. I did manage to color match a little bit closer on some of the lower ones, uh, lower bricks. I found some, some older bricks in my collection that were just a little bit faded, if not old gray at the very least. So I think it looks all right. And then built into that is, of course, the sheriff's house, and I think that works pretty, pretty nicely. I do think that the farmhouse might need to be flipped 180 degrees, um, mirrored, basically, so that the flat side does butt up to the um, tower, and then the skyline would, I think, look rather nice. That also then gives me this little gap, which is five or six, um, that alleyway, to add to the eight on the far side, and I could have myself a reasonable size plot. And again, I don't know if I'm going to leave this forever or if it's going to live on the shelf for forever, but that's a pretty good little town. I think we need, like, a grocery store, a market of some sort, and then we, we're basically complete, I think. So I think we'll go with something like that, and we can, of course, move on to the next shelf and pretend that it's one continuous line, or we can do something else, but... Uh, you know, let me know what you guys think. It's just a little little town update today. Just just a little little town update. 